Hi class and welcome back. I'm glad you, you're sticking with me. We are uh, continuing our lessons on using uh, PowerPoint to engage students in their learning. Uh, today we're going over uh, using multiple mouse uh, in your PowerPoint presentations. And what this will do, it allows you to have questions in your PowerPoint and the students will use either wireless or wired uh, mice to, uh, to answer your questions. So let's go over here and click on multiple mouse. Now this is a, is a PowerPoint that I found on the internet on interesting integers. It basically walks the students through the steps for adding and subtracting uh, positive and negative integers. And this first part of this lesson concentrates on adding integers uh, of, with like signs. So I created a couple slides here at the bottom using multiple mouse. And here you'll see I created the problem. I, I chose multiple choice, put down the answers, and I selected the correct answer. I also have the option of uh, having them draw, like if it's geometric figures, uh, and yes and no. So again, several couple slides on that. Now let's see how to create one of these slides. So I'm going to go over here to a new slide. And again, you must be in the multiple mouse section to create this. And we're going to go with multiple choice again. And I can pick number of responses that are, that are available. I chose three for simplicity. And now I'm going to type in, we're going to... Uh, take negative uh, 13 and we're going to add a uh, let's add a negative whoops negative 2 okay so I go down here now I do the math here and let's see so negative 13 plus negative 2 would be negative 15 so I'm going to put in here distractors of that and I'll put in an answer here for if they just subtract the numbers they would get uh, let's say negative 11 and the correct answer is going to be negative 15 okay so next I have options here I can rearrange how I want the the answers to look and I can uh, have all sorts of configurations for for math, I'm choosing to align to the left, and then I'm going to pick the correct answer here from assign answers. And we said it's number three, so we'll click on number three, and there you have it. It's just that simple. So now let's play the slideshow. It's configuring the slideshow now under the multiple mouse. Now we're setting up how we can identify which mouse belongs to the teacher, which one belongs to the students. So first I'll move my cursor here to this box like it says and press enter. Okay, now I'm the teacher and in control. Here I can set up a team mode or individual mode and I'll go for individual. Now right now I'm only working with two mice so this one is going to be the student. Go here and we'll click on it and go down here and run our show. Now I'm going to go, the main purpose here is not to teach you how to do integers. So I'm going to go through quickly to get to the bottom and demonstrate how to uh, how the students will answer. So here we have the negative 9 plus negative 7. The student selects their answer and in this case it will be negative 16 but let's click the wrong answer. Okay, now it gives the it gives the uh, correct answer and in this case it's doing it right away because they only have one student. If I were to put in 15 students it would wait until it is all 15 students have answered. So now we're going to advance to the next slide and you must use the bottom menu here as it works a little bit different than just PowerPoint by itself. And now the student will take over and we're going to go with negative 66 and we got it right 
Very good. So again, go to the bottom. And our last one here that we created, let's go with a wrong answer this time, and the student will pick here. And we have uh, the correct answer of minus 13 plus a negative 2 is a negative 15. So next part of our lesson, some power. I would like you to create your own uh, questions. I'd like at least two slides. It can be any subject you like, history, uh, language arts, math, anything you like. Create two slides and, and submit it in the, uh, the homework assignment area. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this lesson and hope you have a great day.